Uh, warm it up, warm it up. Uh, before we get into this, I really want you guys to take a look at this makeup job because I think she's a pretty, pretty princess and I'm really digging this with this like floral thing. This is, oh, I feel delightful. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm uh, a digital pastor and spiritual coach and, you know, all around hooligan. And I'm here to answer a question that I think I have needed to answer for myself for a time. And I can't even tell you if by the end of this video, I'm going to actually give you a satisfactory answer, but I am going to give you the best I can. So let's go on an adventure, shall we? A couple days ago, I got a comment on one of my um, YouTube videos that said, uh, I liked you until I saw that you sold tarot card readings. Basically said something along the lines, if you're not a Christian, you need to not, you, you're misrepresenting yourself. And I'm like, mm, hold on. If you look at anything of mine on the internet, like I'm the same, I am, I am like God, I'm the same yesterday, today and forever, okay? I'm the same person here on uh, the YouTubes as I am on Instagram, as I am on my podcast, as I am in front of my mama, and the same person I am on Sunday morning and Saturday night for that matter. Mm. <laughs> but it was, it was very interesting to me that this person was just like, I thought you were a Christian. They wasn't a Christian. God, that's such a classic video. So I, I responded by, by saying, well, first, basically one, this is exactly how homophobic pastors have talked to queer people of faith, especially, you know, in my experience, queer Christians, for forever, saying who is in and who is out and you're practicing a weird way. And how many of our queer friends like still love Jesus but are not going back to church anymore at all? And we don't fault them for that. They just don't want to. It's not their scene anymore. It's not where they're gonna find God. And yet you are gonna get up on, in my comments, and talk about what I'm doing when the reality, like I'm not the enemy here, beloved. And so it just, it, it really, like, in, in some ways it offended me because I'm just like, on the surface level, it's just like when people say you aren't a Christian, I'm just like, fuck you, I am a Christian, okay? Like, that's how this works. Like, what does it say? All who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I done did that, got baptized at age nine and I still followed Jesus, whatever that means. You know, there are days when I wonder if I am a Christian, but then like I, I got down into it and I was like, I hold the phone, just two seconds. Because we have to ask the question, what does it mean to be a Christian? Um, because if he's saying like, you know, so many people look at LGBTQ Christians and say, you cannot be queer and Christian. You can't be trans and Christian. You can't be, you know, you can be attracted to people of the same sex. You just can't be engaged in a same sex relationship. All this bullshit. You know, there's all these conditions on like what you can and can do as a queer Christian. And we now know that none of those rules are real. We now know that like God has been trying to stop that, to stop like putting blocks in the way of love, right? Anyways, I'm losing track of what I wanted to say. So let me bring it back. Because the real question it comes down to is this, so what does it mean to be a Christian? It's like, because this person says like, you can't be a Christian and also use tarot cards. I'm like, well, obviously you don't know anything about tarot or anything like that, otherwise you wouldn't say that. Two, what does it mean to be a Christian? Because if there are, is a, like a list of do's and do nots, I haven't found it yet. Plus, like if you still get to be like a white supremacist and claim that you love Jesus, then, and claim that you're a Christian, then, uh, I mean, if you can protest pride parades and also like military funerals like Westboro Baptist and they call themselves Christian, then like, are they Christian or are they fake Christians? And what makes them fake Christians versus the ones who supported Donald Trump? The same man who, you know, use rubber bullets and tear gas to clear a, clear a spot out so he could have a photo op in front of a church holding a Bible like it was a weapon. And he still gets to be, he's a Christian? He's a Christian leader? Uh-huh, yeah. So forgive me if the definition of what a Christian is is like a little hazy, okay? Two, it's like, especially this is coming from someone who said sincerely a gay Christian and I was like do you think that you have claim to Jesus you know you're gonna be another block another barrier someone from within out my own community telling me how I'm gonna live out my faith you know how would you worry about your own damn self first of all oh <sighs> sorry I'm getting riled up again but let me bring it back in am I even a Christian that's really what it boils down to because apparently there are a plethora a myriad, a uh, 
a cornucopia of ways to be Christian, a bunch of different beliefs that you can have and still be considered Christian. But also at the same time, it's like, if being a Christian means being associated with those people who we dislike and say, those aren't real Christians, those are fake Christians, the ones who are Trump supporters, the ones who you know think it's okay to say all lives matter, the same ones who think that George Floyd died of a meth overdoses. At the end of the day, like I do not really care about the label of Christian because of this right here, because of people policing other people's spirituality, because of other people going up and saying, you can't do that. I, I broke free once from a religion that told me like, there's only one specific way to be in the world. And so you telling me that I'm doing my own spirituality wrong, clear indication that I don't, you have nothing to say to me. And on top of that, it's just like, what if I'm not a Christian? Hmm? What then? You, am I still your friend? Do you still like me? Do you still respect me? Do you need to hop off this channel? What if I'm not a Christian? Because I'll tell you right now, I don't know if I believe in a real ass resurrection. I don't know if I believe in a literal virgin birth. I definitely don't believe uh, in a literal seven day creation. And I do not believe that Moses actually parted the Red Sea. I don't know if Moses was even a real ass person or just some sort of mythological figurehead that the nation of Israel created to figure out how to like, you know, talk about their beginnings. We don't fucking know. And so that's the same thing for me is like, am I a Christian? I don't know, but like, I'm always drawn back to this question that Jesus asked his followers. And it was just, who do you say that I am? And some people said that he was, you know, one of the prophets from the Old Testament come back, reincarnated or like, whatever they believe in. Some said, you you know, we think that you are the prophet. Some say that you are this, that. And then um, Peter said, I believe that you are the son of God. And it really got me thinking, who do people say that I am? You know, it wasn't any, any like Jesus talked to Peter and said like, hey, like this was revealed to you by the spirit. It's like you, like you saw it. You looked at me, you looked at my ministry, you looked at what I was doing and you saw it and then you named it. Does that make sense? So it's the same thing with my life. Look at me. What does my life say about me? Does like my work to help queer people stay alive, what does that say? The fact that I love Jesus so much and I reference, uh, you know, he's got, he's got a great book. I don't know if you've read it. Um, <laughs> the, the fact that just I can't seem to get away from so much interesting Jesus and Christocentric language. What does that say about me? And then, you know, factor in, like, you know, I'm, I go out and I try to be at the, as many act, act, actions as possible. I try to help out financially where I can. I go to a church. Um, I also read tarot cards. I also very pro-sex and I'm non-monogamous and I smoke weed. So like, I mean, who, like, look at all, look at the body of work. Look at like, what have I been trying to do my whole life? And then who do you say that I am? If you look at all that and you say, you know what, overall, I can see that your life's mission is trying to follow Jesus. I see Jesus in you. I see you trying to do what you're here to do. Then great, I'm a Christian. Rock and roll. And if you look at the other stuff and that's all you're focusing on is who I'm having sex with and we're like, you know, what spiritual practices I have or you're worried about me in any way. Like, if you, th what did I say on Instagram the other day? Like, you know, uh, if, 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 you know, if you look at all the stuff and all you see is like somebody who's trying to lead your children astray with sex positive theology and weed, then, then I am the Jezebel of your nightmares. <laughs> That's so funny to me. I don't know why. Oh my God. But like, here's the deal. It's just like, I don't care. I don't care and like I think the reason that comment upset me so much was not so much that like I care about like being validated as a Christian as much as like God you're missing the point you're missing the point Jesus was not even a Christian so like what are you worried about <laughs> oh my god it just it blows my mind how small people think God is you know what I'm saying so yeah am I a Christian I don't know maybe Sometimes, probably, I mean, you know, maybe even like 52, 51% of the time, but like, actually, no, we're gonna go with 49% sure.
<laughs> sure, I'm a Christian. And then 51%, um, mm, I'm just so open to it. I'm open to everything. I'm open to wherever God wants to show up. I'm open to Jesus, like walking my ass out of the church and into the wilderness to find the truth. That's what I want. That's what I'm interested in. And if that's what you want to do too, then like, cool. Grab a seat, pull it up and let's get into it. But I'm not here to defend myself as a Christian because I don't fucking care to be a Christian. What has Chris, what has Christianity done but burn the world up for 2000 years? I don't know. I love you so much. Um, I'm done talking. And if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Are you Christian? You Christian? Tell me. I love you. And yeah, talk to you later. Bye.